together. So much military in your family. How special was it for you to be able to run down the hill with the American flag? It was definitely an honor. Um, I didn't realize I was going to be a uh, part of that until Coach Me told me on Thursday, and it just kind of hit home. Um, and you know, I was going to tell my family, but Coach V got there right before I, before I did, um, and they were really they were really excited. So um, it was a very unique opportunity. So you seen other guys do that the last few years, and thought to yourself, man, that, that could be me maybe at some point. Yeah, no, I, I, the past few years definitely I've been you know seeing a few guys run down the hill with the flag, and I'd be like, man, that'd be super cool if you know I get that chance. And um, I know earlier in the week there was a few guys mentioned that could potentially be possible people that could carry the flag down the hill and then found out Thursday was going to be me. So I was just really excited and truly honored. I would say the communication amongst us, um, you know, during practice or, you know, and in the film room, um, and even on the on the game field, when we were constantly communicating, trying to recognize, point out tendencies, formations, you know, um, just just making sure everyone's on the same page, um, which has really been something that you know you would think would be a little bit of a you know a letdown from last year. Those guys, you know, Kendall and Trey, those guys played together a few years, and then you now you got a, a little bit newer newer guys in there um, you know, who who haven't played as much, you know. Uh, you'd think the communication wouldn't be up to par, but, but it really has, and that's kind of what allowed us to be, um, you know, play as effective as, as we have so far. What do you remember about that environment uh, up at Carter Finley Stadium from two years ago? Ah, it's a great environment. You know, they, they're, they're, they have great fans. Um, they will show up no matter their, their record. Um, and, you know, it's just it's an environment that, you know, um, we're going to have to embrace. Uh, and prepare for, um, and and I, it's kind of like Clemson's a little bit, where the fans are kind of right there on you. So um, you know, it's just one of those things that we're going to have to, you know, silence the crowd ourselves. Um, but the only way to do that is to go out there and execute and make plays. What impresses you the most about Isaiah? He's a freak, just plain and simple athlete. He's smart. Um, you know, um, over the past few years, he's he's definitely grown his intelligence. Um, and that has, you know, transferred onto the field. And you see him making all these plays. He's anticipating, um, you know, the play before it even happens. And he's just all over the field. I mean, you know, he is wherever the ball is, you will find 11 right there. Is there something you can point to maybe that we don't see on game day that kind of behind the scenes about him? He's in the film room. He's, you know, you know I remember when he first came in here, he was a little bit lacking in that area. Um, but over the few, uh, past few years, he's starting to grow more and more accustomed to, you know, pushing himself in the film room, challenging himself. Um, Coach V does the same. He challenges him each and every day. Um, and we do, you know, linebackers, we challenge each other. And so um, he, he, he's definitely stepped up. And, you know, he, he's one of those guys that, you know, are now bringing people along with him into the film room, challenging them. So it's really great to see. He's a great leader on this defense. Um, and he's a playmaker for sure. I didn't even know that was coming out today, so that's news to me. Um, you know, we, we definitely, you know, we notice it, but we don't really give it much recognition because right now our attention and focus is, is on NC State. Um, you know, the, we won't even have a chance to go to the playoffs if we don't take care of business um, this week. So that's, that's our mindset. Each and every game is a playoff game for us because, you know, all, all it takes is one, one loss, and then, you, you, you know, there's a chance you couldn't make the playoffs. So, you know, we each 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 game for us, the rest of the season, our mentality, it's a playoff mentality, playoff game. You like playing in Death Valley, but is, is it nice as a linebacker to be on the road and actually be able to communicate a little bit better? It is nice because Death Valley is extremely loud. Um, so it, it's great to be able to actually hear your partner in crime next to you, Jamie Skowski or, or Isaiah Simmons and, and the D-line talking to you a little bit. Um, as well, so it, it is definitely a, a, a nice change up, but you know, nothing can beat playing in Death Valley for sure. Um, I love it, I love playing there, I love it when the crowd is going crazy out there on the field. It may make our job a little bit difficult communicating, but 
you know, it doesn't beat, you know, there's nothing that beats it.